because of AI technology building blocks like large language models and other things, as well as AI coding assistance tools, the barrier to building amazing things is now lower than ever before. So for a lot of developers, the advice I have is let's just go build, build, build. Despite this excitement, one thing that could put a stop to a lot of innovation is if gatekeepers arise. The mobile ecosystem today has two gatekeepers, um, Android and uh, iOS, and you can't do certain things unless they give you permission. One of the most important things in AI is to keep the technology open to avoid there being choke points. And so I really appreciate AMD's open approach to its technology stack, including, for example, the open source Rockham. And I think um, supporting that hopefully creates a more open ecosystem and a more open world where developers have choices. And this hopefully lets all of us just keep on innovating in whatever we want to uh, without gatekeepers creating choke points. Some people have been advising others not to learn to code on the basis that AI will automate it. We'll look back on that as some of the worst career advice ever given. AI coding assistance is making it much easier than ever before to code, but as things become easier, a lot more people should do it, not fewer. And today, I actually think that it's worthwhile for everyone, definitely software engineers, to learn to use AI assistance to code, but also non-engineers, because now it's so easy that I see marketers and analysts and financial professionals able to learn to code or really get AI to do a lot of coding for you and be much more productive in the job roles as a result. So learn to code with AI assistance.